What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to break down everything we found out in the most recent Game Informer video. First, I'm going to break down everything that they did not mention in the presentation, then go over what they did. And believe me, there's a lot of stuff that they didn't say that us fans noticed. Before we get into it though, please hit the like button as it takes 2 seconds and it helps out the channel more than you think. And I'm trying to hit 60,000 subscribers before Ragnarok comes out. I really do appreciate it. But let's get right into the video. To start this off, let's talk about the name of where we are and the truth of the name. Looking at the captions, Mamir says this place is called Nidavalir. At least that's the way Mamir says it. Here is the cutscene where Mamir briefly talks about the difference between the two names. Fadalfai means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Svart Alfheim is a different way of saying Alfheim. The first part of the word actually means dark. Odin and the other Aesir can't tell the difference between Dark Elves and, well, Dwarves. Nita Valir is the true way to say the realm. Another thing they didn't mention was a returning collectible here. Twice in the presentation, you can see Odin's Ravens collectibles flying around. For all of you who found them in God of War 2018, you can once again enjoy them. And because we're going to all 9 realms, you can expect a lot more than from God of War 2018, which is pretty cool. Towards the ending of the presentation, you can actually make out a face and a mountain. You can spot a beard, nose, eyes, and even a little crown on top of the figure's face. Now, a lot of you in the chat room pointed out to me that this can be a dwarf king, which I wasn't thinking about at the time, so thank you to the 800 people who are watching with me to let me know that I'm missing something here. A lot of people also thought that the very top is damaged in a way where a battle could have actually ruptured it. It could be the earthquakes that Atreus mentioned earlier, but it's also possible that a battle in the past actually ruptured the crown of the stone face. Now another thing I didn't mention was the civilian dwarves you can see around the city. You can also see their homes, which are little homes and uh, makes sense, they're not exactly tall people, so these homes are perfect for their size. But another thing I want to mention is as we approach um, the doors at the very start of the presentation, one of them sees us and starts to run away as we get close and another one starts to walk away. Maybe for some reason, these doors are not fans of Kratos and Atreus. Now the question is why? Atreus at the very start of the presentation says earthquakes are worse here because of Thimblewinter, which Mimir agrees. So although the cold is exclusive to Midgard, it seems that the event Thimblewinter is affecting all of the realms. In terms of this realm, more earthquakes and a very bad smell. Maybe the dwarves actually blame Kratos and Atreus and are mad at them for what they did to Baldur, causing all of this to happen. Another thing I really think that they should have talked about was this overhead view that Kratos has of the entire realm. They even showed in high quality uh, screenshot um, of Kratos looking over this realm. And I really want to say that all nine realms may be this size since we're going to all nine. And Eric Williams did say that all of them are going to be very expensive, including the ones we already visited. It's possible that every single realm might have this size and by the looks of it, on this overhead shot and the shots of the city is massive in scale. 
Now the last thing I want to mention that they didn't really go in depth about, the commenter in this video said that Odin locked off all of the realms. This is supported in a chapter in Lore and Legends. Atreus does say a year after the journey that Odin locked all travel to all realms. They can't use the Bifrost in Tyr's temple anymore. However, even before that, Nedovalir was actually locked off. Going into the book Lore and Legends, it said long ago Odin locked off uh, access to this realm because he wanted to prevent a team up between the Vanir gods and the dwarves. Which makes perfect sense because Odin would have probably lost that war. And that is it for all the things that they did not say. But let's go over what they did say and I can give my impressions on what we saw. Did I like it or do I dislike it? Anyways, I love the fact that this place seems to remind me of the puzzles in Midgard. In Midgard, there were several islands where you had to do one part of the island, get on the boat, go on the other part. There was a ton of puzzles across the Lake of Nine, which I really thought was a very creative way to really show off the realm. And it seems that same type of uh, mentality is returning in this realm. You know, you have these uh, water spouts that come out of the ground and Kratos can throw his axe and freeze them to step over them or you can manipulate them into opening things like gates like we saw this in the presentation from Game Informer. You can use your Blades of Chaos to pop open things and manipulate things as well. So um, I'm a huge fan of the puzzles in God of War 2018. I felt them to be very creative. So I'm really happy to see that returning. So what are my thoughts? I think this realm is great. I love it. Um, it has like a very workshoppy type of look. I love the fact that there is actual civilian dwarves in the background watching us, wondering what we're doing. Uh, I think that's really awesome, you know. Uh, I will say that God of War 2018, the world um, felt kind of desolate. Like it felt like it's very, you know, empty, that there is no one living here. You know, we got the art that there was a history here that people did at some point live here. The desolation pushed a lot of people away. Way. Um, we didn't see a lot of humans uh, and that's because they just been through a whole lot but it was the same for every realm and Alfheim we only saw the elves that were trying to you know destroy us Muspelheim we saw no forms of life same thing with Niflheim so I love the fact that this is actually full that it feels like it's a working city a city working um, developing itself because you know the dwarves are very crafty creatures so it's really really cool to see um, I love the fact that they made this realm very expansive you know the other realms besides Midgard they were very lackluster kind of straightforward um, like uh, Alfheim just pretty much like a straight path forward you did have that little open area before you went inside you know towards the light <laughs> But it didn't really feel like a whole lot in that game, thinking about it now. Especially Muswaheim and Niflheim. But now, it's, I love the fact that these realms are, um, they're expansive, they're expanding, and I think it's really great, man. I really do. Hell, even the caves that Kratos and Atreus were going through together that, you know, they were rowing their boat and you saw the inside of that cave. I think that it's really, really cool stuff. And really, it just gets me excited about all the other realms, right? The ones that we did visit and the ones that we didn't visit. Again, we know that all the realms are going to change or expanding. We're going to, you know, play around with more things. This includes Jotunheim. So are all of the realms going to be this big, expansive, have their own puzzles, maybe their own unique transportation system like this realm and Midgard that, you know, you had to use a sled in Midgard. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. These are my thoughts. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. I'll see you in the next God of War video. Deuces.